give to me. I will wait it for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. What can What can you advise your fellow students in order to help end racial discrimination and promote world peace? Again, what can you do to advise your fellow students in order to help end racial discrimination and promote world peace? Another question. Uh, Racial discrimination and promote world peace. Uh, I would advise uh, my fellow Sydney students to uh, be equally kind to everyone, give everyone give uh, equal opportunities, and uh, don't uh, don't disregard them for their differences. That's all. Thank you very much. Now, pick your question, please. Here is your question. Are you ready for your question? Do you think world peace is really possible in the future? With the current state we are in today, why or why not? To repeat the question, do you think world peace is really possible in the future with the current state we are in today? Why or why not? Thank you for the question. I believe that world peace, um, uh, based on our happenings right now, is very impossible since uh, recently a war just happened between Russia and Ukraine so and if in the possible future uh, we can unite with everyone if we um, understand each other and respect our um, each of our choices and our beliefs and by Having the same goal, we can unite, and that's all. Let's give grade 10 a round of applause, shall we? Thank you, grade 10. Moving on to our grade 9 candidates. Ready, na Bamo? Let's start with the male contestant. Pick your question. Is it not showing you? Thank you. Here is your question. What do you think is the most concerning global impact of Russia's war with, us, with Ukraine today and why? Again, what do you think is the most concerning global impact of Russia's war with Ukraine today and why? I think the most. I think the most. Okay. I think the most concerning global impact caused by the Ukraine and Russia's war today is the effect on gas prices. So it's more like the impact on the economic, economical state of the world today. Since they affected the gas prices that are currently raising. Thank you very much. Oh, no. No. Pick your question, Satan Mahiwagan Hat. Your question How can you promote peace among your fellow CMU lab students? using social media. Again, how can you promote peace among your fellow CME lab students using social media? Thank you for the question. In order to promote peace, 
this here in Serial Lab, you see social media, is to um, uh, let everybody know that unity is important to us and uh, in order for us to be in peace, we need to be cooperate and um, what is this? Uh, and um, let them know about what is going about the world so that you would be aware and like um, you would realize that uh, it is very important to have a real peace. Thank you. That's it. Thank you very much, grade nine. <laughs> Now, let us move on to our great eight contestants. Start with a male. Thank you. Here is your question. Are you ready for your question? Yes. Colorism is very rampant in the Philippines. What can we do to fight against it? Again, colorism is very rampant in the Philippines. What can we do to fight against it? Thank you for that question. Um, I, think the way, I think the way that we can fight colorism in the Philippines is that we should stop showing racial stereotypes in media. Like, you know, there's a bunch of uh, really bad racial stereotypes in media like in television. So I think first step is that we should stop that, and we should also promote more diversity in our media. Okay. Very good. What a wonderful answer. Thank you. 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 such as the n-word how do you convince them to stop again nowadays kids and teenagers use racial slurs such as the n-word how do you convince them to stop thank you for that question um, as a kid myself I still I can still hear people saying racial slurs to each other as it is fun but we can stop this as we as students in CMLHS, we can use the social media to post and advocate children or maybe teens or adults that saying racial slurs is a bad thing to do because we don't know its heritage. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us now move on to the last contestants, the grade 7. So let's start with the male. How would you employ the university's core values to spread peace and end racism? Again, how would you employ the university's core values to spread peace and end racism? Um, I will try and explain to my classmates and many of my friends in other grading sections that um, we can apply these core values into our work ethic and 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 we can teach those to our other friends and they can also apply it to to themselves and and I can also um, ask them if um, they can stop using any racial slurs or, or stereotypes so that we may live in a Unity, a unified environment. Thank you very much. Our last contestant for junior high school category to speak now. Please speak a question. Thank you very much. Are you ready for your question? No. Chick up, chick chick. Here's our question. If you have a foreign friend, would you recommend them to move to the Philippines or not? Elaborate on your answer. Again, 
if you have a foreign friend, would you recommend them to move to the Philippines or not? Elaborate on your answer. Well, we all know that the Philippines has many beautiful sites and, you know, it's a great place to live in. But for the people, uh, colorism is much more normalized than you think in the Philippines. Uh, so if my foreign friend is black or something, they're probably going to, like, some Filipino are most likely going to say, wow, you work so hard. But at the same time, they, they'll think that it's not like a nice skin color to look at. So the, basically, the colorism in the Philippines shouldn't be normalized at all. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Let's give a hat to our junior high school contestants. Thank you.